Hi everyone, today is going to be a DIY on what to do with the remaining wax that we all seem to accumulate with our beautiful Bath and Body Work candles. As you can see, I have a plethora of candles. So look how much wax is left. That's quite a considerable amount and it's such a waste. So I'm gonna show you how to melt the wax and make the little um, melts that you can put into a melting container and reuse the wax. So what you're gonna need is obviously your Bath and Body um, candles. You're going to need some old um, ice cube containers and I have all of these that I no longer use for ice cubes. You're going to need a pair of tongs and you're going to need a flat saucepan so that you can place the candles into the saucepan. So I've got this um, getting warm and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my candles inside so that the candles wax will actually melt and I believe I can probably manage to get four in here at a time and yes I can. So we're going to leave these sitting in here like that until the actual wax melts. Okay, so now the next step is that you're gonna want like a paper plate or some kind of a plate to put the wicks in. And what you wanna do is you wanna remove the wicks from the bottom of your container. And they should come off fairly easily. And you just need a tong to grab them like this. And then you put them on your plate. So you wanna remove these wicks from the bottom. They might not come off as nicely. Okay, if you're having problems, just go to another one until like this, until, the, until they come free, because they shouldn't be too difficult to come out. There you go. So you're removing all of the, the wicks from the bottom. That's your next step. Okay, now I've removed all the wicks from my containers, and you're gonna notice that you might have debris in the bottom of your candles, such as like old wick that burnt, or sediment, or there could be hair and dust. We want to make sure that our melts are debris free. So what you're going to need is a little strainer like this. You can get these at the dollar store for very inexpensive. And you're going to need a cup to be able to pour your liquid into the containers with a spout. So those are two important things that you're going to need. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these jars and we're going to pour the liquid into the strainer to strain out all of the sediment. And you'll see that you still have some debris in there. And there you go, so you have some fairly clean wax there's still some stuff in there what I want to do is now I want to pour this so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour these into our mold So now what I did is I put an actual piece of paper into my um, strainer only because I was still getting sediment in my wax and I really don't want to get all of that sediment in there. And this is a great way of cleaning out your containers for using the jars for extra storage. And I'm going to have a DIY after this video on showing you what to do with these containers. So right now I'm just showing you what to do with the wax. And you can see it's pick, it's actually straining more of the sediment. So you're getting more of a cleaner product. And I wish I had thought of that before, but I didn't. So there we go. Put that back in there. And then you pour your wax into your mold. 
Now you just keep doing that until all of your containers are full and then you put the pop them in the um, fridge for I don't know about 10-15 minutes for them to solidify and then we'll pop them out of these little babies. Okay so now we have finished um, letting these cure and you can see that they're in solid form so now the fun part is just popping them out of their container and I've got the silicone um, type of ice cube holders which are fantastic for popping these out because as you can see pop 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 no problem and look at all the wax that I was able to um, get from these so you get these beautiful wax discs that you can put into your melting um, container and you can just reuse them and I'm telling you this was the leftover wax from 12 of the three wick uh, candles from Bath and Body uh, so I think I got a quite a bit here and these are going to last me quite a while and I think they're a fantastic way of reusing um, the wax that is left in the container so you're actually getting your money's worth when you're purchasing them because we all know that their well, candles are not cheap so here you go now how I'm going to store them I have these little baggies and I'm going to try to put the same type of scent in each of the baggies like that and then just zip them up and then I have an old julep maven box and just throw them in here and there you go and that's how I'm going to store them so we'll do and then these ones here they turned out really cute these are the ones that look like little grapes and look how adorable these are so if you have different molds you can create tons of different designs these are the grape designs which I think are absolutely so adorable so this is my way of repurposing the used wax or the old wax leftover wax from your bath and body candle so I hope you enjoyed it stay to the very end and you will see them being melted in my containers hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in my next videos ciao for now